Hello, this is uh, Dr. Ben from Wither Spine Hospital. Wither Hospital has been offering spine endoscopic training program since 2004. So, so far, over 400 foreign doctors have been participated in our endoscopic course, including short-term course and uh, more than one-year long-term fellowship course. The overseas doctors are coming back to their country and very actively work. So we are very proud of continuing uh, our reputation as the world's best and endoscopic training program center. And uh, we are keeping our work so far. And I hope to see you again in Urid Hospital after COVID-19. So unfortunately, we cannot continue the live surgery in attendance of participants in, uh, in the hospital. So we developed a new uh, virtual program as a live webcast with the uh, GoPro and Zoom program. We hope to spread uh, our webinars in a very real time. Let's meet through the webinar. Thank you. This uh, is a virtual uh, operating theater. I'm uh, in Japan. Uh, we will have Dr. Kun and Dr. Kun, and uh, we just finished their outpatient clinic, and they will join us in a few minutes. So before we start, uh, uh, I'd like to introduce briefly about the Wilder International Clinic course for the endoscopic spine surgery. Uh, as you know, the Wilder Hospital has been focused on the minimal invasive spine surgery technique for the last almost 40 years. Our vision is as a <coughs> global leader of spine surgery. We want to develop our uh, skills and uh, increase uh, patient outcome with our minimal English spine surgery. Uh, my aim is to go uh, more hardly than usual, so I will be from the central to harder angle, slightly more than the, the, the normal type of uh, transfer and endoscopic disc, like the downward migrated disc. So I need, uh, I need the working channel to be looking downward more so than usual. Uh, the, 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 the actual foramen itself seemed to be quite large, so in this case, I, I did not decide to undergo a pheromone test immediately. But in all cases, I consider using a, a, a endoscopic drill during the procedure if it seems as though I can't see or I don't have um, enough visual, uh, uh, enough vision, even though it was targeted there. I consider a little bit more, so it's almost, almost. Mostly in the epi, I was expecting to see most of the working channel in the epidural space, but some of it went inside. Yeah. So it's almost two thirds outside the actual disc. I'm trying to take it placing on the epidural space. Yes. Uh, but like, it could be a little dangerous if you uh, push it uh, more uh, central to the uh, central area with the epidural approach. Then, okay, you are staying outside. Yes. And you are staying in the front. Okay. Okay. 